everybody, I'm back. Taking my little baby girl. We went to the movies. So Sonic. That's all the plane noises right there. That's what you be hearing. Anyway, I figured since it's a decent day, like 50 some degrees, I'll come back to the crib and do a little something here. So I'm gonna try to. I bought some hose clamps. Um, I was gonna buy the the hose, but I don't think the hose is leaking. Well, hopefully it's not leaking. So airplane, it's going to land somewhere. So what I might do is I'm gonna take this back out again, wipe it down. I'm gonna put the hose clamps on, the better ones that I bought, and this secure this back and those banjo bolts and stuff back as well. And I might try to do something else small. I don't know yet, but that's pretty much what's gonna be the game plan for now. And um, do that. Still waiting to post all the video at home. The internet is like man slow, so you take forever. So it's gonna take a long time. Anyway, I'm gonna get to it and check you on a few. All right, yeah, put the hose clamps on. I'm about to tighten this up real quick. I'm probably gonna time lapse that. I might not be able to get much done today. I got my daughter with me, so it's kind of difficult to do this and watch at the same time while she's running around. Say hi, Vivian. Say hi. Anyway, see, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and probably just call it after that because it is kind of getting late. And we'll see. We'll see. But it's what it is. So, tighten up that banjo bolt. That one there. Put the red wall back. I got different hose clamps. Hopefully, this will keep it nice and tight. Um, the hoses look kind of moist, but it was kind of dripping from it being disconnected. So, I'm going to wipe it down one more time. Um, I'm going to come back again and see. I was going to buy the hoses and cut them to length and do all that stuff like that, but I'm going to wait and see. If it's not going to leak, then I'm not going to change it. If so, I'll just change it. It's not a big deal. Um, I might do one or two of the little small things. I might film it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. And then from that point on, um, yeah, I'm just going to be done for now until I hear back from my cousin about the alternator. And I might come back this weekend. You know, I'm off this week. I got to go to work tomorrow. I'm off this week. I'm do some fam and then I'll do some family stuff. Hopefully next weekend I'll be here. Anyway, um, let me continue and catch up. Uh,
All right. A quick wrap up. Can't do much more. My door's getting restless. That's all right. So, mounted this back up. Not a big deal. This a bolt and screw. Um, did that. The reservoir. Tighten that back up. Put the new hose clamps on. Um, I'm gonna test it out again. I mean, it looked like it's weeping at the very top, but that might be this. I don't know. I just want to see what happens with that. I might, like I said earlier, get a new hose and do that, but. I'm not going to be so worried about that anymore. Um, put back on the crank position sensor. That's right down here. Cleaned it up, put it back on there. At first, you're going to see me in the time lapse. I spun the engine. I just want to make sure it's not touching. It's very, it's very close, but it's not touching it where it's going to like hit it and do any problems. So I guess it should be fine. And it just needs to be close enough to be able to tell what it needs to tell and do what it needs to do. And I just started mapping maximum of a hose like this hose right here. I, I, I remember it going over here. It's long enough. It makes sense. I think that's like a vacuum thing. The fuel thing, I didn't put that back on there yet because I have to find a way to route this fuel line back over here without getting it in the way. There's a lot of things that I need to reroute. And I guess once everything is connected, I can figure that out. Um, I don't like some of these brackets that I have here, like down here, like the holes that were sitting here. I don't remember what was sitting on that. You know, I don't remember um, what. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Like, I don't remember what was holding this and where this went. You know what I mean? Like, little things like that. I don't 100% remember where they were. So, what I want to try to do, like, once I get everything pretty much mapped out in regards to like the hoses and the cabling that needs to be connected that's outside of the regular radiator hoses and I have an idea where they go I'm gonna see if they're gonna be fouling against anything and then I'm gonna adjust that accordingly so if I gotta zip tie it I'm gonna zip tie it if I gotta move it certain ways I'm just gonna move it cuz I don't want nothing to get crazy but I'm, I am getting excited because for the most part most of the critical things that I'm seeing that needs to be connected I have an idea how to connect them and some of them are already connected I'll have two issues like I got I want to change this hose I don't think I bought this hose for the heater hose I have to double check I have to replace it because you see there's a big rip here right underneath the thing that's gonna leak out coolant and I don't want that and there's another hose that's right here that's in the, that goes to the block and it comes up here and I'm assuming it connects to here I gotta change that and the other piece, the other holes, I remember, I have that one. That one goes here, and I think it goes somewhere underneath here. So, like, those little things are there. I have the bag of hoses. I just got to really go through them and look at it, because some of them are, like, you know, replacements to others, and some parts are just, like, you know, random stuff. So, anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to go home, try to edit this up, probably post this tomorrow. Got some working on the other one. The other one's taking forever to post, and I'll post that. And, as I always say... Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for your patience. And also, thank you for the help. For those of you who comment on my videos and, you know, give me advice and tell me what I'm missing. And you can see, there she goes. What I'm missing and what needs to be done. I'm really getting pissed off. This is like a little side note. This is almost, it feels like it's like three-fourths of the way still full. And I can barely spray it. I hate how these cans work. Same thing with this other can. So I got all these brake clean with all this fluid inside of it and I can't get it out. So I'm like, I'm pretty much wasting money at this point. Anyway, thank you again. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.